What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna be showing you how to make the perfect potato gratin. Alright, welcome back to the channel everyone. What do you think of my new apron, huh? Festive. Christmas. Ah, uh, whatever. Alright, so obviously, peel your potatoes. We're gonna go through a lot of potatoes here, so use a lot. Now, stay clean. Put a napkin under there, just as always. Easy cleanup. Now, a bowl. Half and half in. And then a lot of salt. We're gonna season this well. Black pepper, generous amount. This is gonna be what we drop our potatoes into. Now, dial in your mandolin. We're going to do a little testy test here to see how thin we're going to go. This is about where we want it. Really thin and sort of translucent. You can see my finger through there. Now find a stable spot, put your mandolin right on top of the cream bowl, and then slice it on in there. So make sure that the potatoes don't oxidize, and also they'll be coated in the cream and we're good to go. So. This is my container of choice. I'll leave a link down below if you want this one right here. Now, when we're putting our parchment in here, it's very important that we get a piece long enough to overhang on the edges here. You'll see why later. Brush it with butter generously. This will make sure it doesn't stick and also tastes amazing because it's butter. So now we're just going to start shingling our potatoes, overlapping each other just a little bit until we have one single layer. And then once that layer is done, we're going to finish it off with a little couple dabs of butter here. This is going to happen in each layer, by the way. Black pepper. And then finish it with Parmesan cheese shredded all over. Now this is something that's going to take a lot of patience. So grab some good tunes, have a seat, whatever, and just go with it. Zone out. Now, this is why we need it to overlap. We need to cover it. So go ahead and overlap it over the potatoes. Now cover it with the lid or foil if you don't have a lid. Bake it at 375 Fahrenheit for about two hours. Two hours later. Now, fresh out the box, we want to check for doneness here. It might be less than two hours. It might be about an hour and a half. Make sure it's done. Stab it. And if it comes out clean, we're good. Now, you can go ahead and eat it just like this as is, but we're going to seal this guy back up, cover it with some plastic wrap, and we're going to press it and throw it in the fridge overnight. Something heavy. Something that is flat on the bottom and we'll make a nice surface. Get creative, you could use, you know, a can of oil, whatever. Anything heavy. The next day. Now give your potatoes a good old rim job with any kind of spatula just so it comes off easily and then pull her out. And here we have a giant brick of potato. Delicious. Now I'm gonna just trim off the ends here so I can have nice rectangles. Don't throw away these ends. They're delicious. Just mash them up, make some delicious mashed potatoes with it. So now I have my rectangles. I could go ahead and trim the sides. And here we're left with a perfect rectangle potato stack. Gratin. Whatever you want to call it. Oh, but if you think we're done, we're not done. Get some butter in a cast iron, some oil to prevent it from burning, and then some herbage. Then your potatoes in. We're going to get a nice sear here. Potatoes taking a bath in some more butter. Now you want to make sure that your heat is not too high. We don't want to make our potatoes sad here. Give them a flip, check the color, and then give them a good old baste. Give them a bath. A little basty baste on each one. And while you're doing this, think in your head of what you're going to eat your potatoes with. As is, with lots of cheese, maybe with a steak, turkey, whatever. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this recipe video, everyone. Perfect for the holidays. Make them half the size if you want to please a crowd, your whole family, and impress them with all your patience and hard work. Finish them off with some cheese and some flaky salt, and then enjoy. Thanks for watching. Ooh, listen to that crunch. Mmm. A little salt on there.
Shogun. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video.